Hi guys, this is Katrina doing the lesson 8, Worldly Wise. So the first word is Aborigin, an original inhabitant, especially one displaced by later settlers. So a perfect example of this would be American Indians. They were original inhabitants of North and South America, and they were displaced by incoming Europeans. Second word, abrogate. It means to put an end to, to abolish or repeal. So um, in the government, you would abolish or abrogate a law or enforcement. The third word, appurtenance, an item of equipment, an accessory. So you could say that an appurtenance of traveling would be luggages, um, maybe neck pillows, passports, the fourth word, bivouac, a temporary camp or shelter, and the second, to stay in such a camp. So refugees would be an example living in these temporary camps or shelters. Cetacean, a member of the order of marine mammals that includes whales, dolphins, and perpoises. Decry, to criticize strongly, to denounce. So... You would denounce something unacceptable in society. For example, you would decry human rights abuses. Dis Dissuited, a state of disuse. So an example would be typewriters. They're in a state of disuse because now we have computers. Leviathan, anything that is, enorm is of enormous size. So a monster that is huge would be a leviathan. Mockish, excessively sentimental, and the second definition, which is an adjective, having an unpleasant taste, sickly sweet taste. So excessively sentimental, something that is close to your heart. Misapprehend, to fail to understand correctly. So it's kind of like miscommunication and it can often lead to um, arguments because two people couldn't um understand each other and there was misapprehension parochial limited or narrow in scope or outlook and the second definition of or related to a church parish so a way to remember parochial would be um a parish it starts with the same p-a-r and it has to do with the church pervy to be in business of supplying goods, especially food or provisions for use. So supermarkets, pervy food. Recourse, a turning to someone or something for aid. And the second, a source of help or support. So when you lean on someone when you're in trouble or you need help, um, it's a recourse. Replete, well supplied, full. And the last word, wave. To give up as a right to forego so when you sign a contract you waive your rights to something for example if you guys have been working on your common apps there's a section where you sign and you agree that you waive your rights to see or read your letters of recommendations okay that's it thank you have a great day